Welcome to the AACS Daily News. Over the last several weeks, a number of Attleboro artists and potters worked to craft hundreds of bowls in order to raise money for those in need. On Saturday, those who purchased a bowl had a chance to pick them up at the Newell Shelter in Capron Park. AACS stopped by to learn more. Good morning. My name is Sarah Mott. I'm one of the founders, co-founders of Empty Bowls Attleboro area. And this is our second event. Last year was our first Empty Bowls and we had it inside at the YMCA and of course this year with COVID-19. We had to pivot and do it a little bit differently. So welcome, here we are at the Newell Shelter in Capron Park. An excellent home, we're set up outside. Lots of social distancing and the crowd has just started to arrive to pick up their bowls. So Empty Bowls Attleboro area is totally focused on its mission of raising money to fight food insecurity in the Attleboro area. Our, our money that we get today basically goes to the Food and Friends program and also to the Attleboro Y for their food, fighting food insecurity programs. And we are hopeful that today, by the end of the day, we will have reached our goal, which is $40,000, which is matched by an anonymous donor. And I have over 20 artists who have worked with us. We have over 400 bowls in the pavilion today, although they're leaving the pavilion rather quickly. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. People have, the artists have really put their heart and soul into this. Um, and the public really seems to appreciate it. We sold out of our tickets early. And uh, it just has been a really great coming together show of community support to help fight food insecurity. The other additional thing we have today to help us raise money is we have a, a special artist raffle where clay artists have gotten together and they've made um, really nice high-end pieces and you can buy your raffle ticket. Uh, and hopefully if you're lucky, you'll come away with a piece. And then we also have some studio pieces where basically the clay artists have kind of cleaned out their shop and made some pieces that are different from the empty bowls and the bags. There are, larger pieces, smaller pieces, one of a kind, all of them are one of a kind pieces. And so we have that offering and you don't have to have a ticket to get that. So those are just an added element for the day. So all in all, it's just a big celebration of art in our community. And uh, it's a way that art can kind of give back and help make a nice social difference by supporting a really good cause, which is fighting food insecurity. So Empty Bowls was founded by Sarah Mott and Sally Cobb. Uh, Sarah and Sally have been uh, partners with the YMCA in various events, um, for the most part, really sharing their artistic talents with pottery in what has been an annual rooftop party uh, at the Y. And they'd, they would make some pots um, as part of the raffle items for that. And um, it was very popular. Um, we were talking about the other types of uh, charitable needs in the Attleboro area, uh, and uh, food insecurity is a big one. And Empty Bowls, as I'm sure some of you have learned, is a national movement of uh, potters trying to heighten awareness for food insecurity. And so Sarah and Sally, uh, just passionate, passionate uh, volunteers in the community who uh, saw this as an opportunity to make a difference and uh, ran with it.